So this is supposed to be an open source platform for development, and the, the purpose of it is for uh, one laptop per child. I'm trying to provide different design intakes. They're, they're focusing on laptop. I'm trying to focus on a desktop system that works for um, like pretty much anyone. And uh, the, the goal is to provide a platform for development for educational sector. So if you're going into school and you want to learn, you're going to be a programmer. Well, you need a, a device to use to do your work on. This one? Yeah. So inside this thing, I'm going to, hold on, let me move these guys. Inside this thing, there is a USB splitter. Mm -hmm. There's a Microsoft controller for the keypad. Mm -hmm. And there's a Panda board. Nice. And there's a, there, Ubuntu is running on a 4 gig SD card. And there's nothing special about this yet at the moment. Is this mass manufactured? No. No? This is all custom built, uh, hand built it myself. I, I'm working on uh, building a rep rep machine so that way I can print n cases and potentially boxes to put it in. So this is a prototype of a case. It's, it's a box? A, yeah, it's, um, so I'm actually trying to put it away. So let me come over here and we'll shut this guy down, which I don't think I can do. All right, so. Let me unhook this guy. So this thing's all supposed to be modular, so that way what you want may not be what I want, and what I want may not be what you want. So the parts come apart. Mm -hmm. So that way it can be modular and used with any device, because device agnostic is important. Just give me one second to unplug all this. And where's this USB? Oh yeah. So. I left the case, but you can pull wires out and plug them in. So I can plug this USB into any other computer or this microphone into any other computer and still use it while this computer while this computer is running. So I'm not stuck to this one platform. And that's for the HDMI cable. When we put this guy, and I'm sorry this hinge isn't built yet. I'm not a hinge developer. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a software guru, not a, uh, right. but so this is a prototype of a potential case that I built to protect this so I could bring it here, and it's pretty much just spray foam in a saw, skill saw box, and it's a little rough to get in, but she goes right in, and then this is a PX5, it's a, uh, for the headphones, so that way I can use it as a, as my phone system. And it's not necessary for this device. It's just this is my personal desktop, and it's what I wanted. So this is how I built it. It's not necessarily a requirement. Nice. So the PX5 is your external sound card? Yes, exactly. And it, it just allows me to work and be, make, listen to my music while I'm doing my work and, or make a phone call and be you know, not disturbing other people. So that goes in there. And I haven't. There's supposed to be more in here, so that way you can put the keyboard, you know, the mouse, and I've got a bunch of accessories, like like a mouse and stuff, inside the bot, inside nice. this. So you would you you mentioned uh, OLPC before. What do you what is how, how does that what do you what do you mention OLPC? Um, I, I, it was mentioned to me initially as someone, when, when I brought this to somebody and they said, why don't I approach the one laptop per child? And it's, I never wanted to do laptops. It's, I, I'm trying to promote uh, open source, low power com, um, computing to provide a value to people and keep their infrastructure costs down. If your infrastructure's cost is a bit lower, you can you know, provide a little bit of ROI on your devices. So ultimately, this whole thing should run off a solar panel, it'll run off a battery, and I use a projector, the TV's here, the projector runs off a battery as well. So this whole device can run without power, right? Completely discoupled from the grid. Which means if I get a bigger battery, I can run this whole thing off solar and be completely off grid. And now you go to a school system and say, hey school system, you've got all these kids and they need a computer. Why not let them build it, teach them to build it, provide them the tools, and then go throw some solar panels on the roof so that way you can have a, uh, uh, you know, the power 
and the, the rest of the infrastructure needed to keep your costs down because desktops, they run about 500, 800 watts per desktop, or some of them run 1,000, versus this is 8 watts. So right? what do you do uh, day by day? Uh, for the last couple months, I've been focusing on this, but I'm a software developer. I do uh, uh, .NET, uh, AS, ASP.NET and HTML5 and databases. Those are my strong suits. But as a, as a website guy, I've gone into this open source world where I'm trying to bring new products to light, and I've created this idea for an operating system, mm -hmm. which I don't want to share because if I do, my, somebody might take it. But I'll open it when I'm done. But the, the goal is build the, build the computer, build the operating system, and then provide this out as a really low-cost solution. right? Because I put an expensive development board. It was a $200 board, the Panda board. But you could go with a uh, BeagleBone, you know, which is $45, or an Arduino, or a NetDuino. You know, it doesn't, it, the device is irrelevant. It's what are you trying to do with it. Me, I'm a website guy. I want to be able to remote desktop into my server, and I want to be able to manage certain things. So I just needed Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you know, so I could have these extra devices. And when I go to trade shows, uh, Johnny Chung opened up using a Bluetooth uh, Wii remote. You can use an IR pen and a projector and create an interactive touchscreen. So now this will work with any, anything with a projector, so a laptop or whatever. I just happen to build a desktop model first. I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi and create a laptop, but I'm trying to get a 3D printer built first so that way I can build the case because it's easier when that, that case is hard to build. And it came out looking sloppy because it was all hand built rather than machine built. Is so, it not a, something like a console or something? Yes, it was an old Super Nintendo, and everyone makes, has given me a hard time for using a Super Nintendo. But ultimately, it was given to me as a gift. Uh, like it was broken when it was given to me. Yeah. And the person who gave it to me you know, is family, and I wanted to keep it around. What would make you want to keep a broken Nintendo around for you know, the next few years or decades? Well, let me put my desktop computer in it, and let me use it as my, uh, as my, uh, my workstation. Right now, I can look at it every day, and I can be happy that my uncle gave it to me, and there's a functioning product out of it. So, what do you think about Linaro Connect? I'm happy to be here, and I'm, I thank you guys for allowing me to be here. I'm uh, I'm excited.